Okay, this is Raptor News, and today we're going to be learning about the day of the Lord, the day of distress. And it is so important that if you don't learn about today, on that day, you will be the ones who is getting destroyed. You will be the ones whom the meteorites and the hailstones is going to be striking. Those are marked from the Lord. So you have to pay close attention to what I'm saying. If you don't understand what I'm saying today, you are going to land your ass up in a fiery uh, grave. And so we're going to start with Zephaniah 1.14. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hastes greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. The mighty man is always the, the military man. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation. So the fire is going to be raining from above and it's going to destroy the entire world. There's no place set, no, no safe place. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpets and alarm against the fence city. So alarms and everything is going off. It's just going to be a mess. And against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men. They shall walk like blind men because of the thick darkness. And, says God, because they have sinned against the Lord. So it's the first thing to take notice of. Is that God do not want you to sin against him. To go against his commandments in any type of way. You cannot be gay. You know, you cannot be carnal. You cannot murder. You cannot do drugs and alcohol. You cannot do... Um, you know fornication and you know people are living by this today uh, you cannot be arrogant you cannot be arrogant an ounce do you not know that the day of the Lord is to destroy those who are arrogant those who brag those who have any an ounce of pride you know and and that's why I was telling people that God is anything that I can be proud of or brag about or show off about God is taking it away or destroying it in my life and I mean quickly he do not want me to be proud on that day whatsoever and then you're gonna see why in a minute as we keep reading and their blood shall be poured out as dust that means it's something that's gonna hit you so fast and so damn hard and it's gonna be so damn hot that when it actually strike you and that's a meteorite I believe because what else is gonna strike you unless it's God's thunder or lightning you know, a lightning bolt is going to hit your ass, but I believe it is a meteors, meteorites that's going to be raining down. It's going to go through your body and, and, and your blood is going to pour out like dust. And it says, and your flesh as dung, and your flesh is going to plop down to the ground like crap. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. So your money ain't going to buy you into the kingdom. You know, what good is your college and your knowledge and your big degree, you know, when you're going to hell? It's useless. You ain't going to use your degree to get you out of hell. You ain't going to get you your, your degree and your knowledge and your Maserati or, or your Lamborghini or your uh, Bugatti to get you, you know, you ain't going to drive your way out of hell in it. It's useless. And people don't understand that. Uh, it's just to this satanic world. It's of some use. So you can brag, boast, and show off all the things that God hates, if you don't know that. You think, okay, this makes me a quality person. And these are material things that make you a shithead. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. When he say the whole land, he mean the world. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all of them, of them all. So basically, in one hour, Babylon is going to fall, which is America. The European nations in one hour he gonna rain it down so damn hard and then shake it so damn hard that it's gonna fall and then not only that he gonna allow it to get hit by bombs and everything else I don't believe that America's system is gonna even work we have the uh, planet right here and that's the planet X right here on the, on the west coast right now you know and, and Lord knows what's it gonna cause the earthquake or what so he's going to make a speedy riddance of all of them that dwell in the land. We're going to move to Isaiah 2.12. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud. So I'm telling you, what the hell is you showing off for? Which, what are you so, 
people pride themselves. Look at gay pride. You know all of them going to be, be destroyed. Every last one. And lofty. And upon everyone that is lifted up. All the kings. All the doctors. You know, everybody that been showing off in the world. The scientists. Everybody who has uh, the actors. Uh, it's going to be against you that day. That means you're going to be the ones destroyed first. And, he sh and they shall be brought down low. Humiliated. And the lofty loftiness of man shall be bowed down. And the haughtiness of man shall be made low. So all that bragging and boasting and showing off. So your height. Oh you, you six foot nine. You, you know. You got a big dick. You know. And, and I hate to say it blunt like this. But you just have to. You know, your titties are the largest. You name both of them. You know, your ass is big. Oh, you got big lips. You Whatever the hell you think make you sexy. You got a six pack. Oh, you work out every day. You muscular. You know, God hate that. And if, if anything that you could brag about, your six pack, your, your, your skin complexion, you know, I'm white so I can brag about that. Or I'm black and, and I'm Hebrew and I can brag about that. No, God said, all the haughtiness, all the loftiness, you know, all the proud faces, that day is going to be slammed down. And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day because he said, no man, no thing is worthy of praise except for him. And notice that the day of the Lord only consists of the Lord. It don't consist of Jesus Christ, which they said was going to be coming. You know, with, with you know, with great power and all that, which is a lie. So he gonna come with great power and do what? Nothing, nothing at all, cause he ain't coming. It was a lie. It was added in by the pagans to promote some false ass god. You know, the image of the beast, which is right in the Bible. Bible. So we're gonna move to Isaiah thirteen nine. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, and this is God. You know, people say, well, how, how come you're not talking love? This is the love, because if I wasn't warning you, you would definitely get destroyed, because you would do everything that God said don't do, and that's how Satan works in, inside everybody. So the day of the Lord comes cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. I wonder why God ain't coming with the love that you, you think you ought to deserve, to lay the land desolate, you know, and he shall destroy the sinners off of it. Again, the iniquity, the sin, the proud. This is what God is after. You know, you, you bragging about a car. You bragging about a house. You bragging about money and everything else. My sister's husband just won the lottery. He won a uh, million dollars, I believe, in, in the lottery. And basically, she won't even buy her mama a pack of cigarettes. You know. She won't even do that. She, she, she uh, came to town and she bought a hotel and uh, basically she went she didn't tell nobody that she was out there except for my brother's daughter who told everybody she told her to keep it a secret now you out there parlaying you know and then basically you so selfish you know you, you can't even you so scared somebody gonna ask you for some money insanity you know what I mean and then like like we already know the people who the money go to don't know what the F to do with the money, huh? People like me, I know exactly what to do with that money, you know? And and to make it a good use for a lot of people, you know, they just going to be, uh, what they say, niggardly and buy some Lamborghini and buy some damn little shack somewhere where they could shack up and, you know, and screw off the money and clothes and furniture and material shit. So God says, I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, to stop. What are you proud of? God is going to stop that. Where when you lift your head up on that damn day, there is nothing to be proud of. You're going to be ashamed. You got to understand, man. If you don't understand, on that day, you know, you can go into denial because a lot of my listeners... They listen to me tell them the absolute truth. I'm hard with this damn truth. I don't even play no damn games because I've been dealing with sinners all my whole damn life. And I'm sick of their asses. 
I'm, I'm sick of them. And I ain't going to say I'm more sick of them than God, but I'm pretty close to being sick of their asses and sick of this damn silly ass world, man. And they get what they deserve. Before I was like, oh, wow, all these people going to get got. Now I'm saying, fuck it, get them. You know? And people are like, oh, you can't say fuck it when the Jesus taught with all all authority. And it says, be harsh with these damn sinners. You know, I'm talking to the iniquitous. The people who get it already got it. I'm not telling you nothing that you don't already know. But I might be because sometimes you skip over parts of the Bible and you didn't really get it. I'm making you get it. Jeremiah 46, 27. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob. Just because God tells you not to fear to fear not, it don't mean that well, you got cleared. No one is cleared of sin. If Jacob sinned, he's going to get his ass handed to him too. But God is just going to spare his life. That's what fear not mean in this case. And be not dismayed. It, it don't give you a pass because you Hebrew. You don't get a pass. I'm a sin. I'm Hebrew. I should be okay. Nah, you're going to pay with fire, says God. He going to purge that sin out of you with fire. Oh Israel. And you don't even want it. You just don't know. You want to be pure when God arrives. And I mean. Not going astray from the commandments at all. Not committing adultery. Fornication. Not being a homo. Not being a murderer. A thief. A liar. You know. Somebody who keeps trouble going chaotic. You think the chaotic ain't going no, they're going straight to hell and lying, the liars. O Israel, for behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. So just because you got saved, it don't mean that you, it, you're, you, you escape punishment. So let's keep reading. And Jacob shall return, and be in rest and at ease. And none shall make him afraid. Fear thou not, fear thou not O Jacob, my servant, says the Lord, for I am with you. For I will make a full end of all the nations. So all the Gentile nations. He said he going to make a full end of you. That means he going to destroy you all. And that's why the Gentile destroyer is on this way. You know. And then they don't ever. The Gentiles don't ever read that part of the Bible. You know. And if they do. They're not telling you. They've been hiding that from us for a long time. Huh. Whether I have driven thee. And, 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 and they ain't going to read the part where God say he abhor them. And that they don't know God. And they the savages of the land. And we have to bring them to light. They ain't never going to read that part. Because they say you racism for telling the truth. For saying what God actually said in there. Heathens man. That's why they call them heathens. Whether I have driven you. So. Um, but I will not make a full end of thee. But correct thee in measure. What did that mean? Correct you in measure. Depending on what you did. Uh, it's a punishment for it. But he going to dish the, the punishment out. In, in, in I guess quantity. Or in stages. Yet will I not leave thee wholly unpunished. Says God. So you don't get a free pass. Because you're Hebrew. Sinning against God equals pain. You're going to understand that. So in another verse it says, uh, you're going to be on the, on the mountain smoking, bald headed, uh, in sackcloth. All your hair going to be fried off of you. Skin is burning. You got to heal. You know, and, and it's, it's, the wounds is not going to be able to heal. Uh, eventually God is going to heal those wounds. It's going to be bad, man. Y'all have no damn idea, man. And you want to be taken as far away from this crap as possible. The only way to get taken far away from it is to understand what I'm saying. All your pride. If you if your car make you proud. If your house make you proud. If your money make you proud. If your body make you proud. If your look, your complexion, your hair, your dick, your titties, your ass. If you proud of your socks. I don't give a... People is proud of any damn thing today, man. Proud of how you smoke weed. You know. Stop. Desist. Get away from that. Our God is going to make an end of your ass. He coming to destroy the proud. Hebrew and Gentile. Ezekiel 13 9. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets. So Pastor Dow. 
uh, Watchman Yah, Paul Bagley, Watchman for that great day, uh, General Yohanna, all of them with their neck stuck out and proud of something. Watch. That see vanity. They see money. They see a come up. And that divine lies. And they lying their ass off. And I've been saying this for a long time. You can call me a kook all you want to. But guess what? None of them is coming to me to say you're wrong. And I can prove you wrong. And you a lying ass heathen. They ain't coming. You know why? Because they know I'm going to prove them wrong. They do know that. And they know they're full of crap. And they know they've been preaching lies to the people. And God said right here. And they, they think they're going to be coming with us. No, God is going to deal with their asses for lying to his children, his people. They shall not be, says God, in the assembly of my people. Neither shall they be written in the writings of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I, that's one, not Jesus, not the Holy Spirit, am the Lord God. You will know that Jesus is not Lord and Savior. God is Lord and Savior. There is only one Lord, and that's God. You know, y'all got to stop being deceived when Christ has told you that, and God definitely tells you that all the time. You make sure you know that I, he's singular. Joel 1, number 17. The seed is rotten under the cuz. Why? Because the whole earth is fried. The garners are laid desolate. The barns are broken down, for the corn is withered. How do the beasts groan? The herds of the cattle are perplexed because they have no pasture. Yet the flocks of the sheep are made desolate. The Lord to thee will, will I cry, for the fire has devoured the pastures of the wilderness. There's no more green nothing. Everything is fried on the whole earth. And the flame have burned all the trees of the field. You know, people think they're just going to be lifted up and they, they simple, wicked, gay racist ass is going to be just lifted up and God going to take their wish their wicked asses to some boogie wonderland in space silly ass people man the tr all the trees in the wilderness is, is, is burned and in, uh, and in the field the beast of the field and which is the gentile the white man also unto thee for the rivers of the water are dried up and the fire has devoured the pastures of the wilderness. Joel 2, 12. Therefore also now, says the Lord, turn ye even to me with all of your heart. Not to Christ, not to the Holy Spirit, not to your pastor. And with fasting, denying yourself, and with weeping, and with mourning, will you laugh and not cry, says God. You know, will you keep enjoying yourself in vain damn things that you're proud of? Bragging, boasting. Uh, God gave me nothing to be proud of. You know, he gave me something to um, uh, appreciate, but nothing to be proud of. You know, so I appreciate what he has given me. So, again, theref therefore also now says the Lord, turn even ye even to me with all your heart and with all with and with fasting and with weeping and mourning Joel 3 14 multitudes and multitudes and these are all the nations and a militaries in the valley of decision right there between Syria and Israel you know where they at and that's Armageddon you know the valley of Jehoshaphat for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision the moon the sun and the moon shall be darkened so we got these big ass planets out there that I keep showing people you know, ain't no other watchmen really going through all of this to, to try to save your wicked asses. None of them is. They're preaching some long, stupid sermon, and it's useless at the goddamn end of the damn day. I'm not preaching no long, useless ser uh, uh, sermon. I am telling you the blatant ass damn truth in the most blatant way, and I'm showing you the blatant ass truth with these planets and extra suns and hell out there in space waiting for your, your ass. The new Jerusalem, it's all out there right now. You know, and the time is up, and that's why I'm so hasty and so thorough at what I'm trying to say right here. And I don't care how much time is taken, I'm not trying to give you a long sermon, but I'm trying to be thorough as in what I'm saying so that you don't fall.
you know you can do something if you want to about it right now and you better work fast because the time is up the sun will, and the moon will be darkened and the, and the stars shall withdraw their shining because that's how big this damn thing is that's coming Amos 5 18 woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord so those people that keep writing in the comments I can't wait for that day and God is saying woe to your ass the people who can't wait is going to be the ones that's going to get destroyed you know uh, I ain't trying to see it coming along with everybody else that know how bad it's going to be what I'm saying on paper do not compare it to real life so when this earth is shaking and it ain't going to stop shaking and every wall is thrown down and the mountains is crumbling and, and, and meteorites and fire is falling in the sky and smoke is every damn where and you ain't got nowhere to hide and people is dying left and right all on the side of you tell me how much you was looking forward to that you're not very fucking bright so God says woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord to what end is it for you how you know I mean how you gonna die that day the day of the Lord is darkness and not light you ain't gonna be able to see except for this fire coming to strike your ass as if a man did flee from a lion so you running from a lion he says and a bear met him and you ran into a bear you're running from a lion you know and you ran into a bear that's how frightful the day is gonna be or you went into your house and leaned into your hand on the wall and, and a snake bit you you know shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and, and not light and so when he talking about a snake he talking about a poisonous one like a rattler or something you know you lean on the wall and the rattler bite you how you feeling because if you don't hurry up and get to the doctor all your flesh is going to fall off your arm you're going to rot and you're going to die and you're going to have a heart attack you know that poison is going to kill your ass that venom and so you're going to be panicking now. That's what he's trying to say to you. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it. So it's going to be a thick darkness. So the things I want you to focus on is pride. Don't be proud of your height. I'm tall. You know, don't be proud of your cock size or your ass size or your titty size. Don't be proud of your look. You know, I was taught all of that stuff. And I was out there vain as hell. I don't even show my picture because I'm not trying to show people vanity. And I don't want people to be looking at me in a lustful damn way. I do not want people to look at me like that. You know, I was working out every damn day. Uh, lifting weights hard and all that kind of stuff. You know, and it, it was to the point where it, it, it was almost like I was a movie star when I went to the store and stuff. How many women and people was checking me out. You know what I mean? freaking crazy and uh, still doing it to the day you know I'm trying to look my worst I'm trying to look my worst and people still coming on to me it don't even make sense I said I say to my family that's the devil sending them to me it is trying to tempt me and that's how you should look at it you should never look at yourself as you so fine and you so gorgeous everybody wants you the devil was sending all them people to you because he already know that the moment you assert pride in your head like you proud of the way you look you proud of your height and your size and everything else and all the women adore your wicked ass all of that stuff is going to be used to get your ass sent to hell you know what you going to tell God on the day of the judgment that your, your cock size is big look God let me in you know he ain't letting your wicked ass in that's gonna work against you your ass size your titty size your height your color your hair texture all of that pride God is going to destroy and bring down low what the hell do you got it for then and some of y'all ain't gonna hear what I'm saying you gonna go right back to putting a, a, a thousand dollar weave in your hair right right back to admiring your dick size in the damn mirror I know what you do you know you can go right back to wearing some cleavage titty uh, shirt look like somebody's ass sticking out of your chest you can go right back to that crap and then when God come all of a sudden and he can grow dark you're gonna be crying like hell wishing you didn't think that you got a conversation with God this is the conversation you have with God right now God just take me out of all of that stuff and, and remove the pride right now because I ain't trying to get thrust through with your media rights and your fire I ain't trying to get burnt I'm trying to save myself from that 
from that day. This is Raptor News.